24. Be not envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them. For their minds plot oppression and devise violence, and their lips talk of causing trouble and vexation. Through skillful and godly wisdom is a house, a life, a home, a family, built, and by understanding it is established on a sound and good foundation. And by knowledge shall its chambers of every area be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong and is better than a strong man, and a man of knowledge increases and strengthens his powers. For by wise counsel you can wage your war, and in an abundance of counselors there is victory and safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He opens not his mouth in the gate where the city rulers sit in judgment. He who plans to do evil will be called a mischief maker. The plans of the foolish and the thought of foolishness are sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to men. If you faint in the days of adversity, your strength is small. Deliver those who are drawn away to death, and those who totter to the slaughter. Hold them back from their doom. If you profess ignorance and say, Behold, we did not know this, does not he who weighs and ponders the heart perceive and consider it? And he who guards your life, does he not know it? And shall not he render to you and every man according to his works? My son, eat honey, because it is good, and the drippings of the honeycomb are sweet to your taste. So shall you know skillful and godly wisdom to be thus to your life, if you find it. Then shall there be a future and a reward, and your hope and expectation shall not be cut off. Lie not in wait as a wicked man against the dwelling of the uncompromisingly righteous, the upright and right standing with God. Destroy not his resting place. For a righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked are overthrown by calamity. Rejoice not when your enemy falls, and let not your heart be glad when he stumbles or is overthrown. Least the Lord see it, and it be evil in his eyes, and displeases him, and he turn away his wrath from him to expend it upon you, the worst offender. Fret not because of evildoers, neither be envious of the wicked. For there shall be no reward for the evil man, the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. My son, reverently fear the Lord and the King, and do not associate with those who are given a change of allegiance and are revolutionary. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knows the punishment and ruin which both the Lord and the King will bring upon the rebellious. These also are sayings of the wise, to discriminate and show partiality, having respect of persons and judging is not good. He who says to the wicked, You are righteous and innocent, peoples will curse him, nations will defy and arbor him. But to those upright judges who rebuke the wicked, it will go well with them, and they will find a light, and a good blessing will be upon them. He kisses the lips and wins the hearts of men who give a right answer. Put first things first, prepare your work outside, and get it ready for yourself in the field. And afterward, build your house and establish a home. Be not a witness against your neighbor without cause, and deceive not with your lips. Say not, I will do to him as he has done to me. I will pay the man back for his deed. I went by the field of the lazy man, and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. And behold, it was all grown over with thorns, and nettles were covering its face, and its stone wall was broken down. Then I beheld and considered it well. I looked and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall your poverty come as a robber and your want as an armed man.